whether you love him or hate him, thanks to all the algorithms on most social media platforms, we've all been exposed to Andrew Tate at this point. And it's more yeah. what this person stands for that I think is interesting. Interesting in the worst possible way. Just because there's so much negative press already around you know, people, young men especially, getting influenced by personalities like this online. I thought it'd be interesting for us to discuss why, first off, people like this are getting their time of day and, you know, why they're getting the attention. You think that this person is almost playing a character when you watch some of the clips that are online. I mean, let's just start off as like, Andrew Tate, I mean, I had no clue. He just suddenly showed up on my Instagram feed. And I was like, it's just random. And I think the only reason it showed up is probably because you or somebody must have seen it and then it got automatically, you know, recommended to me. And I passed on because there's no shortage of, you know, douches like him. Like, there are a lot of them. But for some reason, this guy is like reigning supreme for now and it's it's very going to be very short lived um but yeah you're right it's he's kind of like um grabbing a lot of eyeballs uh, unfortunately yeah it really is right short lived now. like you said because as of today he is banned from most social media platforms and just cuz a oh, lot yeah, of the yeah, comments yeah. that he's making are extreme and um yeah <laughs> the other thing i just want to address is I don't go looking for Andrew Tate clips. I might have recently, maybe just because we're doing research, but... No, but... But, no, no, but here's the thing. Like, somebody you know yeah. must have seen it. And then automatically then, you know, because you're on that right. person's friend list, it gets recommended. I mean, that's that's kind of how Instagram works, right? It's mostly through recommendation. I mean, there's no other reason I get so many baby videos on Instagram. Chronic. that i know very well <laughs> that's funny that you mentioned that yeah we've had anytime people come and visit us these days they usually if they spent a few yeah. days with us they start showing us pictures on their instagram feed of you know the sponsored stuff and it's all baby related and these people don't have babies all baby exactly like there's no reason for me to get baby yeah. feed but i get it and i'm like there's only one person i know <laughs> and so it's you. But, but I mean, that's kind of how social media works. I mean, that's how the algorithm kind of tracks, uh, you know, what would probably be relevant to you. And of course, when you look at Andrew Tate as toxic as it is, it is so ridiculously bad. It's entertaining, you know, in a ho horrific yeah. way. But it's like you look at the person, blabbered some of the shit and you're like, I want to hear more of you because you just dumb as yeah. It's dumb, but it's also dangerous because, you know, yeah, yeah. you and I may be able to filter it, through it and see what it is. But uh, exactly. at the same time, I know, yeah. you know, the the target demographic for content like this is, you know, younger men, early 20s and underage. underage. Sure, like, yeah, catch them young even I mean, before that. And these boys... There's no filter right. for this, right? These young yeah. men, boys are being fed. They're being told things that are, you know, extreme. And a lot of it, we'll, we'll watch a few clips of Mr. Tate and we can see exactly yeah. the sort of stuff that he's, the information that he's putting out there. That is so, so extreme. Um, the dangerous part of it is it's a lot of the, the people who are viewing this stuff I was surprised when I was watching some of this stuff for research, you know, for this conversation. And I was hoping to yeah. go to the comment section for a lot of these videos to see what exactly people were talking. And, you know, I was hoping to see a lot of stuff where it was like, oh, my God, this guy's an idiot. Or I can't believe people like this are online or are allowed to be online. But so much of it was actually, no, I can't believe someone's actually saying what I'm thinking. This is this guy knows what we're talking about. Oh my God, let's let's keep this guy around. Um, and it was very discouraging to see that. And I don't know. It's disappointing, but I mean, are you really surprised? I mean, we've seen this before. This is pretty much, this is 
pretty much a repetition of the Trump yep. paraphernalia, right? It's like he'll take stuff that right. is absolute crap, and instead of people calling him out, you'll see so much support right. for the nonsense. That is not true. That would be put out. And you're like, who are these people? And I feel like it's that exact theme of crowd, like, you know, bandwidth of crowd who get attracted to the nonsense that he's spewing out right now. Um, the problem is, like, people like this are also very loud. It might be a small group, but they're right. so loud about it that it seems like it's bigger than yeah, it is. Yeah, it's the pseudo alpha male persona that is that is popular these days online. And you're right, Trump is probably the, the most popular Jay. one of the lot. And for all the wrong reasons, you you and I both yeah. know when you see someone who is screaming that loudly about how attractive they are, how many women they've been with, it's usually <laughs> not the case. It's usually someone who is insecure about yeah. something that's going on inside of them and they're, they're finding this outlet for themselves to get the validation of and support of all these young men as like, you know, oh my God, this is my hero. I want to be exactly like this guy. And you can. This is what so this is what I found out while reading about Andrew Tate. Is this guy is basically online and the reason he is so popular these days is because he's trying to um, advertise for his university, which is called Hustler University. And Hustler University is basically just hustling you. It's just hustling you name. out of money. <laughs> it's it's fifty dollars a month. And with 50, the fifty dollars a month that you spend you're going to learn exactly how to make money, how to make money the way Andrew Tate does, how to be with women, how to be popular, how to get the lifestyle where you can drive a Lamborghini and like, you know, act like you are that pseudo alpha male. Um, yeah. And the courses are taught by people who've been personally vetted by Mr. Andrew Tate, uh, who get paid anywhere from 10000 to to $100,000 per month just to teach these courses. And it's, uh, I actually watched a few videos of people who had as, not a joke, but, you know, just as a social experiment enrolled in this university. And yeah. they said it's just a complete, <laughs> half the stuff that is on there is you can find it online yourself if you wanted to. Uh, it's just the yeah. Andrew Tate badge is associated with it. But the dangerous part of this, um, this platform was a lot of the content that's out there related to someone like him is not actually posted by Andrew yeah. Tate himself. It's posted by his little minions who've enrolled in these courses or these people who who are, yeah, you know, of disciples yeah. of his sayings. Um, and I think it'd be interesting just to watch a few of his clips. Just so if, you, if you've never heard of Andrew Tate, if you're someone who's watching this and you've never heard of him, if you watch this clip, you'll get an idea of the sort of nonsense we're talking about right now. Should women clean up? Women should clean up unprompted. I will not administer CPR unless you're a hot female. If I have responsibility over her, then I must have a degree of authority. For the same reason, if I have responsibility over, and everyone's going to lose their mind, it's an example, it's only an analogy. If I have responsibility over a child, I have to have some authority. You cannot be responsible for something that doesn't listen to you. You can't be responsible for a dog if it doesn't obey you. Some Dude once said to me, yeah, but if it's next to your bed, what if you like upset a girl and she catches you cheating and gets a machete? Bro, there's no female alive, even with a machete, that would stand a chance. Have you ever seen a woman try and do anything competently? Hey, you cheater, you're cheating. It's bang out the machete, boom in her face, and then grip her up by the neck. That was just a short montage Gosh. of what's out there. And... You know, I thought it was, I don't want to give this guy too much of our attention right now. We started this video off just because, with him, because he's the latest example yeah. of someone like this. Yeah. And I think even negative press is press for, you At know, the end that, of the that's day, what yes. he's feeding off of. So this is not an Andrew Tate special video we're yeah. doing. This is just, he's the latest clown to be up there. You know, we had a president who kind of portrayed a similar persona and we had to deal with that for four years, but... There's a lot of people out there who are sending subtle messages like this to younger men. Um, there's a whole arm. Have you heard of incels, Sandeep? So an no. incel is what the word incel is um, basically two words put together, smaller words, involuntary celibate. So 
usually okay. heterosexual men who are unable to find female companionship of any kind. You know, they've been rejected by women. Okay. They've been told no, whatever. And now these these men are sulking. Right. And this is yeah. their king. You know, people like this. Yeah, he's uh, the shining example and the flag right. for that. Just the, the clip rejection. we watched, the misogynistic stuff that he's saying right now is taken seriously by someone who may have gotten rejected by a female, right? So I know uh, we're talking with respect to a lot of the US, but even in India, for example, um, when some of the movies have come out that resonate so much, and one of them that we can talk about is uh, Arjun Reddy, which mm -hmm. is basically a Telugu film. And then that got remade in uh, by Bollywood in the Hindi version, which was Kabir Singh. And the whole idea of Kabir Singh was his broken man was extremely, like, his thing was extremely masculine, extremely rough, and he was abusive towards the woman he loved. But his excuse was, I'm in love with you, and so I can do right. what I want with you. Which, And that was... Like, one of the biggest hits of the right. year. Like, it made right. 300 plus crores, all right? And it was super controversial because their thing was that, well, you know, we're in a relationship, and in a relationship, if you want to hit each other, you hit each other. I'm like, dude, first of all, all you showed in that film most of the time was the right. guy abusing the girl. So already right. there's a power dynamic there, right? Two, if you are both hitting each other, then what you need is a therapist, like, you're both troubled. It's not fair, oh, he, she hits me, so I hit her back. And so so what I'm saying is this, the people lapped it up. The fact that it made so much money is that suddenly there was this thing of, oh, you know, uh, I agree with you. I, it's like people saw what they wanted to mm -hmm. do in reality. <laughs> what was also kind of sad was that a lot of women we're very supportive of that behavior. Of the, the man's behavior in that and situation. Think, yes. They wanted to be the female in that movie. They're like, oh, I wish I had a man like this. Right. That's... They, and these, right. these are young girls, you know? These are like early college or whatever. It's like... So I think a lot of it is how you are brought up. A lot of it is how, you know, sometimes you're brainwashed. What Andrew Tate and the likes of him do is basically, to me, is in ways grooming an individual. Yeah. There's, a, there's a certain identity crisis that is missing, that is currently there with a lot of men at our stage, at younger stages, yes. where they are looking for direction and they are looking for purpose and they're finding it online. Jordan Peterson, I would argue, is the better... I mean, it's not even... If you know who I'm talking about... It's not even an argument. This is you should definitely watch his videos over an Andrew Tate. Andrew Tate's not yes. prob he's probably not even gonna be online by the time we post this video because he's getting banned from all platforms. True, because but it, it, in yeah. essence, like they are looking for a direction. And while you have the Jordan yeah. Petersons and you have better role models out there, you also have people like this who are louder. And they are louder uh, not because they're better or yeah. they have a better message but just because they know that that's what's going to get the attention and th that's dangerous. Yeah. I mean, his videos right. are shock value, right? That's all it is. It's entertaining because it's shock value. It's like, it's, it's such garbage. And I, I've also seen a lot of people like have tried to interview him just to mock yeah. him. And it's, it's uh, a gotcha moment, right? You want to try and get this guy to say something. In, yeah. in that he maybe doesn't agree with or but it's attention at the end of the day it's attention and it's undeserved it's i don't know what he's i i personally couldn't tell you what exactly he does to make money other than hustle people out of it at his university <laughs> this nonsense it's a pyramid scheme yeah. that's all it is it's like trying to get more people. Like you get a commission if you find someone who can join Hustle University. That's yeah. all that it is. Um, I mean, you got to give it to him. He's successful. Yeah, he's definitely <laughs> with this nonsense at the cost dangerous. of young men. It's dangerous um, success. It is, and yeah, and and that's the part where you're like, you know, you wish social media had some level of regulation. 
but then it's like, oh, then you're infringing on uh, right. personal freedom. And it's such a delicate line, but it's just, I don't know. I mean, you have a kid now. I might have a kid in the future. And it's like, how do you even monitor what is being consumed? Because I don't think there's an age restriction on any of these videos that are being put out uh, off him Probably by his not. followers. I mean, the algorithm you might know, I filter think, some of it out, but yeah, not yeah. really. But I mean, if you give an iPad or a phone to an 8-year-old all the way through 16, 20, or 30-year-old, everyone's watching the same shit. Yeah. And it's definitely going to affect an 8-year-old far more than, say, oh, yeah. somebody who's in his 30s. Not that there are lots of idiots in the yeah. 30s as well, but... Um, it, it, it's just kind of scary and it's scary no I can <sighs> tell you as, as a parent yeah. that um, I know that there's stuff out there. so there's the obviously shocking stuff that's out there that I'm that you catch on to and be like this is you know I'm not going to yeah. let my kid watch this but then there's this subtle messaging also that starts going in with you know people like this who are posting stuff telling uh, young men that rejection is not something you should ever face yeah Accepting rejection right. is failure. And that success is only equal into the car you drive or the house you own and the number of women right. you've messed around with. You know, which is which is a very popular narrative. I mean, that's kind of almost all Hollywood or any movie that's ever been made in, say, the early 60s, 70s, 80s sort of portrayed that. You know, women as objects, money around the corner. Time, I feel like these people ever. have just been given a platform. Like, honestly, anyone can post online, right? And yeah. It's pe dumb people are out there. They're not getting filtered. They're going to, I mean, at the end of the day, if it's harmless stuff, everyone has a platform. It is freedom of speech. But when it's not harmless like this. Yeah. And it's dangerous. That's where, you know, we got to. We have to at least try by talking about this right now, expressing our opinions that are so anti what he's putting out there. I hope that that's a start like of positive conversations. You know, you, you might have a kid one day. I have a kid. I have to, I might have to have these conversations with him, you know, because I know I didn't, I was not in yeah. a situation where I needed that conversation growing up. Uh, you know, I didn't really, because yeah. Maybe this sort of, like you said, the movies might have portrayed it here and there, but not to the extent where I could sit and find clips online and watch it and be absorbed in that world and believe yeah. that this is my way of life moving forward if I want to be successful. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, all I yeah. can say is if you've got a kid, if you've got a son especially, and, and if you happen to see them watching Mr. Tate or anyone like him, just be aware that it's not, it's not a good path <laughs> they're on right now. No, and, and like you said, I'm really hopeful by the time this video is out, he's a chapter in social yeah. media history. Forever close. Forgotten. Hopefully.